a couple of mages, Final Fantasy types, and all that. I'm going to see a lot of special moves, funny looking swords, and goofy outfits. Yeah, I can't even imagine what this matchup is going to look like with all the, the zoning opportunities. Kind of a scramble for getting stage control, but maybe with a really solid lead to start it off. Yeah, bounce is going to be pretty important here. Uh, oh, man, and I always forget. Forwarder hits ledge. It does it all. Uh, Helper going off stage. Not really a huge risk, except if the ledge traps get a little bit more powerful from Vivi as time goes on, it's not worth it to give up center stage so easily. All right, up tilt. Oh, so close to getting the forward smash. Here come the fair trains. Not much doing. Not much in terms of big conversions or pushing a disadvantage, uh, or pushing advantage, rather, so far from Helper. It's kind of a nickel and diming, um, which works out pretty well for Vivi. So long as you're not dropping stocks, not a huge deal. Gets the up smash out of it. Didn't get the kill with the full, uh, up there, but. Alright, this is a good position. This is the type of string I'm looking for. Keep Vivi in the air. And keep center stage. And that's what got him a good bit of percent. This is what you want. You want to have a disjoint. You want to be underneath people, even if the other person is a disjoint. Alright, another lead trap opportunity. A lot of mix-up options out of side B back on the stage uh, that you kind of have to respect um, when you're fighting against Sora. We run a little bit low on mana. Let's see what we can get going here. All right, that was the first time that we didn't see an air dodge in a bit uh, from Vivi on landing. Obviously an aggressive recovery. Helper didn't react to anything. Um, there we go. Character DR dodge out of the forward air. For some reason, maybe it was because it was fading back. The second hit forward air didn't connect, and that worked out advantageously for Helper. Uh, and now Helper in the lead. In a pretty good spot. All right, there's low mana. There's enough for, like, another one or two good spells, but... I feel like that's been happening a lot. Um, Helper's been getting these spot dodges. Maybe I'm just thinking the last set. Anyway. Alright, all the time in the world to buff up with Hero. There's that bounce again. I think that cha noticeably changes the nature of the matchup. Oh. The right read, but didn't know the distance that Hero has on the ledge roll animation. Yeah, the high recovery. Was a legendary grab. Pretty easy to see coming. Great call out on the on the uh, counter there, and getting back to stage for free with Zoom. Vivi's okay with this distance. Vivi's okay, holding center stage. Uh, doesn't matter if Sora's off stage doing nothing, like, if you're playing in a stalemate, Hero's the one that gets the advantage, because Hero has a bunch of different spells to choose from, uh, that can change the nature of the game. Alright, let's see if he can get, I think an up air would kill a little higher up. A lot of things would kill from Sora right now. Ooh, so close. Ugh, snooze was... Pixels away from connecting. And the upper does connect. Helper takes it game one.
Now, I have no idea the logic behind how Vivi picks characters, because I've seen multiple equally successful characters uh, out of Vivi. But I don't know. Are they are they going to stay with um? Are they going to stay with Hero? Looks like different Hero skin. That is the vibe. Counter picking uh, alternate skins for your character. All right. I like small battlefield. Um, not really benefiting as much. Uh, when you're hero on juggling and keeping people from landing as much. Like, I think Sora has a lot more threat when it comes to juggling and platform extensions, so I like the pick to get rid of the top platform. Um, and you could still kind of set up shop with your spells underneath platform uh, sort of build a home for yourself like he was doing there. All right, scary position. He's boosted up. All right, it's gone. Forte won't kill quite yet. Doesn't go for the third hit of side B. All right, he's psyched up. Up tilt. Spot dodge up tilt is what he's looking for, ideally. Uh, but instead, he burns in on an up air just to get him off and reset this whole situation. Off stage, plenty of time to set up. He heals, bounces, and side B takes it with the vibe check off the stage. It's a very tough thing to keep in mind the range on that move. All right, I thought he was going to go for the up tilt on the platform. Quite. How's Vivi gonna get off that? She just jumps right clean over him, but. Alright. No zoom. Wow, what a great option. Dang. Because that does reflect the, the projectile of the up B as well. So not only was the hitbox being countered, everything else was as well. So back to an even game, even though Helper had a pretty strong lead for a little bit. Uh, and, wow, Hero is just absolutely maxed out right now. As threatening of a character as you can get. Narrowly avoiding the boosted uh, forward air. A little bit of a scramble, missing some hitboxes, but Helper comes out up on top. Good edge guard, set up. Still no zoom, so yeah, that's tough. Two menus worth of no zoom. Uh, Vivi was kind of counting on that. And, you know, there are a lot of characters that you can just go as low as possible off stage, and it's perfectly fine. But Sora can go deeper than pretty much any other character in the game. Maybe save Bayonetta. Um, and with better offstage kill options. So being off stage without zoom is a death sentence against this character when you're past, like, 70%. All right, let's see what we can get. A little bit of a fair string there. Great stuff from Helper, yeah. Still juggling really well. When he does get that opening. All right. Oh, boy. Man. Even wanted it all. That would have been absolutely the end of it. Great roll to avoid it. Um, I'm not sure about these times that Helper wants to just kind of reset. Oh my lord, that is definitely going to be the stock. Yeah, I'm not sure about Helper picking times to like go and do some offstage shenanigans. Throw, you know, Thundaga out uh, from under stage. It's just giving Vivi plenty of time to go and add more buffs to his character on the other side. And when he has that many buffs, that just kills, like, shield is no longer an option as we see there. Um, and you can't run away from him. You're kind of deciding, I am going to go over here, go off stage, and when I get back up, I'm going to fight a much better character on purpose. 
So yeah, staying at arm's reach is going to be pretty important. I haven't seen any other characters in Ultimate recently. I only remember the Diddy Kong uh, the last time I saw Sharp or um, help with playing a different character. But no character swaps. Back to Battlefield. Probably a good call. Worked really well uh, in the first game. I believe they were on Battlefield. Anyway. Small Battlefield was the last game. Oh, thank you. Alright, so far Nickel and Diamond. Let's see if Elba can make something off of this offstage situation. No? I don't lose stage control, but... Alright, totally boosted up again. Triple boosted, it felt like. Back here, absolutely killing. I think that was like 100 after the hit, but 70 before it. Absolutely absurd. Oh, I just finally realized the commonality between all of Vivi's characters. They can kill you at 60 with something somehow. Alright, zooming back to stage. Uh, content to hold. Just kind of hold center stage. Doesn't need to throw anything out that's any degree of risk. Wow. And Helper looking a little lost. Oh, and up smash doesn't even kill there. He, he needed that. Off stage. If he doesn't push it any further, even though he's got accelerate, doesn't need to. He's sitting pretty. All right, back air finally seals out stock one. We're gonna need to see. I don't know. We haven't seen like fantastic extensions so far from Helper, so it's just going to need to be like winning neutral probably 10, 15 times in a row to get it back to even here. Doesn't snap ledge because of that floaty little jump. Ness Peach style. Uh, yeah. Pretty commanding uh, reassessment after game two from Vivi. Yeah, that forward air at ledge, uh, especially because it's really tough to snap to ledge with that uh, double jump with Sora because you don't start uh, falling for a while. 